Hey everyone, I just got a question about why I use 2D curves and then use combined curve to make my 3D curves. Now, NX, Katia, Alias, pretty much all of our really powerful tools allow us to make 3D curves pretty quick and easy, right? You just align the curve to the view you want to work in, specify the plane you want to work in, or if it's a short uh, for a shortened view or whatever it may be, they allow you to work in said fashion. Now, one of the reasons why I'm a big fan of <clears throat> using 2D curves and then using a combined curve projection is because the curves that I'm generating on those planes are really easy to modify. And secondly, is any secondary shape that you need to base off of your primary shape becomes much easier. So in this case, you can see here I have a curve. Now this is a spline. This spline, let me double click on it, you can see it's relatively clean, simple, sits on this plane, my XY plane. Now I do an offset curve and then I take that offset curve and I make my combined curve projection. And what this is doing for me is it's creating a relationship from this bottom outside edge to this top edge. So this relationship that I have, because this is again, this is just simply an offset curve. If I look at this, this is offset in whatever distance I need. And then I drive a, um, uh, I drive a combined curve projection. You can see there's the offset curve and my center curve to get this shape. So this shape and this shape have a relationship. Now, this allows me to make sure that I don't have any odd looking surfaces. Once I clean up this curve and I get it looking really nice, typically there is going to be a relationship to what the next curve on that project is going to look like. So in this case, it's just simply an offset curve. Now, if I double click on this, um, I can change this from constant to linear as far as law type, and I can drag this out a little bit. Now you can see, I still have a relationship between this shape and this shape, but I'm creating more acceleration at the top. So if I go back into my offset curve, and let's make this a bit bigger, that is now uh, very modifiable, very easy to visually see what's going on with all of my shapes. And Again, because of what I've done, this has a relationship back to this curve. If I go back into, um, we got my analysis, and I'm going to pick this curve. And what I want to do is turn on my curve analysis. And let me suggest my scale factor. You can see this has a very specific shape. If I do the same with this curve, this shape is very similar to that shape. Because remember, I did a offset curve, and uh, the law of value from one end to the other is different. So one end is, um, oh, I forget what it is, 10, 15, the other end is at 45. So um, all, all the system does is, is it keeps that curve, that basic shape, and it almost sort of twists it to get to the position at this top end. And it maintains a nice relationship to this over at this end. Now, as you look at this, for shorten it a bit, you can see here, and this is pretty a pretty drastic change. So yeah, you're going to see some, you may see a little bit of a odd thing going on with the uh, curve analysis. But uh, you can see, for the most part, it has a relationship to that outside curve. So if I come in here now, and uh, let me shrink this back a little bit, something a bit more reasonable, you can see very clean, very easy to modify, and the relationship of shapes becomes much easier by creating my 2D curves and then doing my various offsets and then generating my 3D curves and, and my additional surfaces off of those curves. So that's one of the uh, biggest reasons why I like to use curves to frame in my shapes and then use those curves to frame in the next shape, next shape, next shape. So there's that nice relationship of, um, 
of that feature of that shape from the original or that master. Now, if you need a completely different shape or a radically different shape change, then you would obviously have to generate a new curve, a completely different shape. But in most cases, especially let's say this is an armrest, the center arm, this is actually from um, an armrest, very similar to an armrest that I worked on a little while ago. Um, you you know you you want to create nice relationships or something that tapers in you know you have your basic shape and something that basically either tapers in or stays parallel or, or however you want but you you know you, for the most part this is out of an SUV it's not not the most exciting shapes in the world so there's going to be a lot of nice clean relationships and, and such. And this is one easy way that I found to get those clean relationships. Thanks. If you like the video, please like, um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and share with uh, your friends. Again, thanks.